Hello vlog and hello world. Sorry again for being MIA for a couple of weeks. Um, but let's let's just not talk about it. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm sick. But it's not COVID, because I did tests and she said negative. I usually get like a throat infection every single year, like it's my yearly thing. And I usually have it like the week, either the week before Christmas or the week of Christmas, and I didn't have it this year. So part of me kind of feels like that's what this is. This is my throat infection, but it's it's coming in a little late. I don't know if I should even be making this video because I probably sound like so fucking annoying, but a girl's got to make cunt sense. And to be honest, this is the first day that I've been at home on a day off in the last maybe two weeks because I'm just, I'm glued to my boyfriend at the minute. I'm glued and I just haven't been at home. So the one day that I'm at home, I need to make use of it. Today's video is just going to be like another daily vlog, but it's going to be like, Day in my life sick edition. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's basically just just me being sick and what I'm going to do to try feel a little bit better. What I've done the last two days is just lie in bed and watch Private Practice, which is like a spin-off from Grey's Anatomy. And I'm trying so hard to convince myself that it's good. I'm only on season one still, but I'm like... Because I just... Grey's Anatomy is like up here. Every other show that I ever watch is like here. Grey's Anatomy just can never even be met or topped. I spent the whole day in bed yesterday, like, I mean, the whole day. But what are you gonna do? It just, sometimes it just has to be done. So I think this morning, the first thing I'm gonna do to kind of make myself feel a little bit better is make pancakes. Also, as I'm sure you can tell, I did do a full tan, but I just thought maybe being tan would make me feel better. So I did it, and I plotted my hair, which never really makes me feel better, but I just needed it out of my face when I was lying in bed. It's also Monday and sadly I had to uh, cancel my gym session this morning which uh, I honestly was pissed about because this week I was looking forward to it. Hello. Sorry, my mum walked in in the middle of me telling you about why I was pissed off with the gym. I was actually like motivated and I was in the mood for it this week. Like I was, I was ready. I was, this week I was going to be a gym queen. It was going to be the start of my revolutionary um, body transformation and then... I just got sick and I couldn't go and then that just means that my, my revolutionary um, gym girl time can't happen and it's just really truly sad. The recipe that I looked up said to put two eggs in, but this just tastes like eggs. I also didn't measure any of the other ingredients that was on it because it was all in like grams and mils and stuff. And that was just a bit too much effort, I feel like. Pancakes are like an eyeball thing, but now that I'm tasting these, I probably shouldn't have eyeballed because it just tastes like eggs. The plan was to make all these crepes and then go into the sitting room and watch something while I eat them, but for some reason they're taking like 10-15 minutes to cook each one so I just have to eat it while I'm waiting for the next one. It's a little bit inconvenient, I won't lie, because I kind of wanted to eat them while watching something. But it's fine, I will just make a second cup of tea and watch something afterwards. Okay, the last pancake is done, but can we just bear in mind that I started this at 10 past 10 and it's now 20 past 11 for pancakes. Make it make sense. This is, this is the fourth one, by the way. <coughs> so I'm finally going to sit down with a pancake and I also have like five letters from revenue that I didn't realise I had. Um, so I'm gonna open them right now and see if I'm in some kind of tax trouble or something. And then I'm just gonna watch something. I don't know whether I'm gonna watch Private Practice or if I'm gonna watch YouTube. 
So no, the TV is my oyster. Me. Right, it's 20 to 1. And I've done fucking nothing. I'm trying to think, what can we do right now? Because we've eaten, we've watched TV. I know I have a load of washing up in my room to do. Loads of clean clothes to put away. But it's not really fun, is it? I should probably shower, to be honest. My tan's looking a little bit too dark. I don't know what to do. See, if I didn't put my hair in plaits, I would do makeup today, just for something to do. But my hair's in plaits, so there's no point doing makeup because I'm just gonna look like a fucking egg. It seems that every time I speak, my nose needs to be blown. I just dropped snot all over my face, but I didn't, I'm gonna cut that out. I just, I don't know how else to get content today. I don't know what else I can do for you. I probably should have thought about that before I thought about making a stick day vlog because all I seem to be doing is blowing my nose. And I'm out of breath, but I've grabbed a custard and I'm gonna watch some YouTube now. Me and Jing here are gonna watch some YouTube. Don't know what I'm gonna watch because I've basically watched every single video that I've wanted to watch. But I'm gonna just look for more. I'm gonna look for more. Part of me really feels like I should just order myself some stuff right now. Let me pull you, let me pull you closer. Oh, I feel like I should buy myself stuff because any time that I don't feel good I buy myself stuff whether that's sick depressed mostly when I'm depressed but I have booked a little sneaky little trip for my boyfriend's 21st birthday I really want to tell you where it is but he doesn't know he doesn't know a thing he knows that we're going away but like he doesn't know where because he likes the suspense of the surprise but it's also really hard because I don't want to slip up. And then I keep getting, like, I'm excited about where we're going. And then I nearly let it let it slip. And then I'm like, girl. I'm fully aware that I kind of need to be saving a little bit. Because all I've done is pay the flights. And I need to book the hotel. But it's just not the same as a materialistic splurge. You know, I could buy some skincare or something. I could buy some gym clothes or something. I could treat myself to some nice clothes. Because, you know, you work out better when you feel like you look better. Like, last week I wore a crop top to the gym. And it was my it was my best performance yet. And I'm convinced it's because I wore a crop top. And I felt sexy. Whereas when I wear oversized clothes, it makes me feel even more insecure. So. Oh, there's a sneeze right there. Come on, girl. Get your sneeze on. Whenever I wear that cute stuff, it makes me just work out better and feel better. You know, what's what's a little bit of money? You know, because I'm gonna I'm gonna earn money back. I need to get my nails done bad. I said I was gonna get them done tomorrow because I have a driving lesson at eleven, which means I'll be done at twelve. But I don't have to go to work till four, so I have four hours in there to do nothing. So I thought I'd go get my nails done. I'm gonna be so annoyed when I watch this back and listen to me like. Shut the fuck up. Um, she was so right because I'm literally getting so sick of having to edit out every single sniffle because there's just way too many. So I'm gonna probably just start leaving them in because, girl, I do not have the energy to edit out every single sniff. So I'm, I'm sorry, not sorry. But anyways, I'm so excited for going on this trip because there's potential to get like two videos out of this, two videos. So I can get a prep with me for name of the location. And then I can have the location vlog. And Finn is already fully aware that there is a very high chance that I will vlog our trip. Because any chance for content, I'm gonna take it. And let me just say this. When it comes to a drink, I'm a habit. My eye is twitching like a mofo. <laughs> and I, I caught it on a TikTok. I might be able to insert a little clip. Literally so dramatic, but I'll just show you anyway. So if you can see... It just pulls and then goes back. Pulls and goes back. I know it looks so minor, like you literally wouldn't be able to even tell, but I'm telling you when it happens every two minutes, it is really annoying. Um, yeah. But my eye just spasms all of the time. All of the time. Like, I'm just chilling and then my eyes like... And like, in the video that I have of it, it's only really small, so it literally just looks like my eye goes like... 
and then back because it just it just has a little crap i went to my doctor about it and he said yeah it's just stress and i'm like okay but my stress isn't going anywhere she's here for life so does that mean my eye just twitches for the rest of eternity and drives me fucking insane and he said yeah that's basically what it is me and my eye spasm are for lifers also kind of in the mood for some ice cream i got oreo sandwiches and i got cookie dough in the freezer whenever i'm ready ice cream gives me a really sore stomach because look i've never been tested but just from the way that my stomach and my body reacts after having dairy like milk cream pasta sauce i don't think dairy agrees with me very well I get really excited about ice cream because I love ice cream and like milkshakes and all that, all that shit. I eat that shit up. But then the aftermath, I just, ugh, I already know it's going to be bad because I just get such bad stomach pain, such bad toilet issues, you know, like, I don't have to explain. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can guess. But in the moment, it is so good. I'm going to do some online shopping with the intention that if I see something I really like, I will allow myself to order it. But unless I really like it, I will not have permission to order it. And then while I'm looking, I'm going to eat some ice cream. Also, if anyone has tried this um, Isle of Paradise tan, please let me know if it's any good. Because I like the packaging. I like the colours. I like the whole refill bags idea. But I just, I don't know if it's any good. And there might be like a load of talk about it that I just missed out on. And I don't really like watching reviews of things. If you know, let me know. That last clip is literally me watching my phone ring and trying to decide if I want to answer it. I didn't. The sky looks so pretty right now. I just, I've just been spending all my time on TikTok today. Keep making TikToks, but I don't post them. Sometimes I post them, but like my drafts have like hundreds upon hundreds of videos in there but i just don't post them because i'm like mm. because some days i post like five drafts and i delete them within like five minutes because i'm like girl no one gives a fuck but i also am not posting them for someone to give a fuck i'm just posting them because i made them and why not post them when they're made i don't know that's just that's just me thinking so this king has been sleeping on this couch since this morning that's the top of my ice cream, by the way, I don't mind that. Yeah, just hasn't moved. Well, he's moved, as in, like, moved positions of sleeping, but he's just been sleeping all day. I don't know where the other one is, probably outside, being active. But you're just being a lazy bitch. I could probably go be active. Like, just gently, gently active, you know, just a wee harmless walk. I also just don't want to get dressed. Like, you know when you just feel sick and, like... It's kind of partly like it's a nice excuse to be lazy because I'm like, oh, well, I'm sick. Well, I'm, but I'm sick, mom. That's why I'm. That's why I'm not doing anything because I'm sick. And I feel like this vlog is just very boring because it's literally just me sitting on the couch the whole day. But as I said, I'm sick. What do you expect me to do? Will I go for a walk? Will I? I could go for like a ten minute walk. No, I probably won't. <laughs> I could probably go up and get my diary or something and, and, and see what's going on there if I have anything I could fill out. Although I think I filled it all out yesterday, so there's probably not. I could show you my new self-care journal that I got. Do you want that? Will I give you a self-care journal tour? Okay. Just give me five minutes to get the energy to uh, get up and get it. My chest hurts. It hurts. Oh. Oh. Sorry. So this is my new little self-care journal that I got. I actually got it from L Aldi, not little, Aldi. I mean, it was only five euro, but it's so cute. That is the front of it. And you get so many stickers in here too, cute little stickers. And then you have these sections, mind and body, intentions and reflection. So you get a sheet for a self-care map, which is like you write out all the things that, you know, could be good for you to do for self-care. And this is like self-care that you can do for your body. And then for your mind and gratitude. This is really embarrassing. Look at the hack of my nails and my tan. Look. And then you have like an activity one. So you can put in like types of exercises you can do for how long and whatever. Um, I'm not filling this in because I just go to the gym with a personal trainer. And he just tells me what to do every day. So not every day. Every Monday. 
So, I'm not probably going to use this section because, first of all, I don't even know what anything's called. Um, and I never planned the workout. So, I'm, a, I'm just going to keep leaving that up to him. Maybe one day I could write down the exercise of the walk for 10 minutes or something. But then you can also do it for a nourish so you can plan out like what you're going to eat. Um, I also probably won't fill this one out because... I eat an awful lot of cereal and it would go into like my breakfast and dinner and snack. I don't really want to record that and then I also don't want to lie. So maybe someday when I have like a healthy day, randomly sometimes I do, then I'll fill that in. But other than that I won't fill it in daily because it could just bring me down. And then there's social recharge. You could write down like who, what, when, where. What do you want to do socially? Who you want to do it with, when and where you want to do it. And then there's just a couple of pages on that as well. And then you fill out me time. So ideas for me time for you. And then a self-care shopping list, which I've already filled in. Which I don't really need to hide because... Basic, you know? That was like the first thing that I filled in because... I love any excuse to shop, especially if I can say it's for self-care. Then there's create an intention. So you can do body, you can do mind, and you can do affirmations. And and then there's this, which I actually really like. So you can write out an intention, an affirmation for that intention, how you plan to get there, potential obstacles, and then how you'll overcome them and help you might need. So I filled out one for learning to drive. I'll show it to you here. So an affirmation is I'm a great driver. Um, driving lessons, practice, study, nerves and flustered, you know, the usual. That's how I fill it out. So I just need to find some more intentions that I want to fill out on this and get me a little bit more motivated. I like the way that it shows like how you'll overcome and you know accepting the fact that there's help you might need along the way. So I just like that um, and there is a lot of those sheets so that's nice. And then the last one is reflection. Do what makes your soul happy. Purr. This is what it's like at the start of the week. So you can fill out your intention and affirmation of the week, how you feel, you can colour in the wee mood. Um, things you need to do and stuff like that self-care that you might do this week and then at the end of the week you get to fill in what went well something that you learned what you're thankful for and then how you feel at the end of the week and then other thoughts and feelings about the week and again there is tons and tons and tons of these ones so i just thought that that was quite a snatch of bargain for five euro quite a lot of pages in there quite a lot of fun things to do in there my therapist has been on to me to like get a self-care journal for months but all the ones on like Amazon and shit that I found are like 20 euro and I'm like mm, no 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 so to find one for five euro I was like there we go it'll make me and my therapist happy so I'm actually gonna fill some of this in I'm gonna do the start of the week one and see if there's anything else I can maybe fill in there I could try follow some of the little self-care things that I did for like mind and body or whatever and body I'm thinking more of like doing my self-care so that could be an idea to try Get the sick moods up. So that is the self care one done, and now I'm going to check if there's anything in my everyday diary to do. I don't think there is because I feel like I filled this out yesterday. So I've just made a to-do list for today. Therapy homework still is yet to be done. I'm currently filming a YouTube, so that's fine. I need to book a nail appointment for tomorrow in between my driving lesson and work. And then I need to book the bus for the morning as well. And I need to look about booking a hotel for Finn's birthday surprise. And now I'm just gonna do my normal journaling. So let's just get Get our emotions out. Let's let's write them all down today. Let's just keep going. Quick break because I need to get a strepsil for my throat because oh my god. appreciate how nice this just looks like she said summer she said let's get excited she said i'm loving it 
And I said, girl, me too. Just the sunny vibes. It just, it hits different. Anyways, I'm going to do some skincare. I don't know, can you even see me? Maybe would I be better off? Oh, I could be better off doing that. Actually. My skincare at the minute has been pretty brutal because when I'm in fins, I literally, I do not do skincare. Let's just say that. It just goes out the window. But I think every girl is the same because I always see TikToks like when he asks you to stay over, but you know, you won't get your 10 hour skincare routine in. Mine's only five minutes anyway, but I still don't get it fitted in because you just go to bed, don't you, really? What I have been using is this e.l.f. Booster Drops. My mom got this for me in TK Maxx for Christmas and I didn't start using it until literally this month and it's all gone. So I need to figure out how to buy more because I was looking it up and then I couldn't really find this exact one to buy in Ireland. I honestly didn't look that hard either so probably will be able to get it somewhere and then it's from a glow hub gift set and um, so some days i use this toner and then i'm trying to just use this gel moisturizer and the only reason that i really am liking this is because it smells so good oh it's also vegan i'm not a vegan but it comes with um a cleansing balm as well but i haven't used this because i feel like i've probably said this many times but i only ever wash my face with water because when I had acne, um, my dermatologist told me not to use any like face wash or anything like that and just use water. That's what the balm looks like, but I think it's for like taking off makeup and I don't wear makeup, so I never really have to use that. But the other two parts of it are nice. I would use the toner, but I don't have any cotton buds, cotton buds, cotton pads left. Oh, that's a lie. Yeah, I do. And it's cute. It has one of those like little pump things. I love them. Pump, pump. Oops. It's also going to take off all the fake tan that I put on my face so that's nice and this is the moisturizer so as you can see it's like clear like it's literal gel which i think is really cool it turns into like water nearly when you put it on and it just smells like straight up peach it's delish girls i don't know what else to do oh no i'm bored though but like i feel like it's the type of board that could be easily fixed with doing something boring like just watching tiktok I kind of, I'm, I'm at the stage now where I just need to get through the day, you know, it doesn't have to be at an extravagant, it's just something to, just to keep the noggin ticking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at hotels again. I'm going to get back onto the hotel search grind and maybe book one today. And then once I have that booked, I'll feel free to buy anything else. But then I also want to spend quite a bit of money tomorrow on my lesson on my nails. So maybe I won't do any shopping, but we'll see. Right guys, I just ate a full bowl of pasta watching youtube and then after my pasta my throat got a bit sore so i just i just finished the ice cream that i was supposed to savor for a couple of days but it's fine um i honestly don't think i'm gonna do anything else with my evening i might shower later because i've got a busy day tomorrow it's not that busy but just because i actually am doing stuff i think it's busy i'm gonna leave this video here because you know, I feel like it's just been a whole lot of not interesting clips, so I'm just, I'm going to end your suffering here, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, besties, and I'll see you next time.